And John Dacey got an earful tonight at a parents meeting in the San Fernando Valley. Many questioned the district's controversial program to buy more iPads for students when it can't afford more teachers, school supplies, or to repair outdated buildings. Tonight, KCAL 9's Brittany Hopper is live in Tarzana. Brittany, you attended that meeting there at Portola Middle School. That's right, Kent, and it was a very heated meeting. Many parents and teachers leaving very frustrated. With them. Could we just ask you a question? LA Unified School District Superintendent John Daisy wouldn't answer our question about the $1 billion technology project, which includes iPads for all students. They don't come to your house and yell at you. At a community meeting, many angry parents were here wanting to know why the district is using taxpayer approved bond money for iPads instead of school repairs. A group called Repairs Not iPads, seen here on Facebook, shows pictures of what they say are repairs needed in many schools. We have lockers that are falling apart. We have floors that need to be scrubbed. We have, I mean, it, the list does go on. Parents were allowed to submit questions ahead of time on index cards. And while many said they were there to discuss iPads, only a couple of iPad questions were read. When a question was finally asked about iPads versus maintenance, the superintendent pointed to technology as the future. Content is more and more going to become digital. Mm -hmm. And so the work of maintaining that inventory is definitely going to drop, and the ability to support ongoing technology is going to increase. After the meeting, some parents and teachers say their questions weren't answered. All along, we've been asking that the basic infrastructure of our schools be adequate for our students and be safe for our students. And he didn't answer that question. Now, we do know there are parents who are in support of these iPads, but we couldn't find any here tonight at this meeting. We are live in Tarzana. Brittany Hopper, KCAL 9 News.